We're gonna make a caption speed running tier list. However long it takes. I already put lunar items into the lunar items because you can't use them at all. <laughs> kind of. But we're, let's start with the common items for F tier. Oh, I'm gonna make a YouTube video on this actually. Welcome, YouTube, oranges, for my four subscribers so far. This, I am making a Captain Speedrunning tier list, item tier list. And as you can see, lunar items, there, you can't use them, so they're there. Yes, I'm taking this as a bit of a hit, hit what, from Wooly. So, if you're gonna call, if people call me on that, you you do that. Um, first, actually, I said we're gonna start with common items. So, let's. I'll talk about them once I get them in. Ass. I apologize. Uh, I'll keep that. I'll, I'll keep that. Um, bad, 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 bad. Like the worst item ever. Bad. Um. This is bad. Okay. The white items are in place for F tier. Let's go through. Doesn't do damage. <laughs> I would love to give gas S tier normally. But when you're speed running and you need things for Mythrix. Gas doesn't do anything. Actually, I'll move it up to D tier for you. Because it saved me a couple times. It has saved me a couple times. <laughs> but. Doesn't do damage. It saved my life maybe once or twice. You could think it's the best item in the game. I don't, personally. But opinions are opinions. Some are wrong, but yours is not. <laughs> No one wants to sit still in a game about not getting hit unless you're NG. Then you like Bungus. Medkit, not damage. Sun nades, not damage. Um, very rarely this is helpful. Very, very rarely. Oh, I need to change my. Sorry, let me change. Let me change this real quick. My apologies. Um, yeah, I need to change my my information. Oh, running completely wrong. Okay, okay, okay. I got that set up. Um, this you, you very rare unless you have fireworks. Unless you have um, what is it called? The item that heals you, remote caffeine, that's what it's called. You're never using this. Um, backup mags, stun is so bad. It's uh, It helps early, but it doesn't do anything late. Um, no damage. Who wants this item ever? No one. Um, this item's good like stage one and two, but it falls off really quickly. And then... We're gonna bump that up to D tier because other reasons. Now we're gonna go into the greens of F tier. A, I'm joking. HG is <laughs> fucking fine. Um, bad. I'll talk about these after. That's self-explanatory. Uh, 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 
that's like the worst time ever. This is horrible. I never get to use that. I know, I guess I'm saying what they are. That's not up to exactly. Infusion's not great. Bandolier doesn't do anything. This, no, that, this doesn't do anything. That's not super great either. Um, You hate me for these? You hate me. It's okay. This doesn't do anything either. Wish doesn't do anything either. Okay. Greens of the F tier. Leech Seed. It's just bad. It's okay on Captain because I shoot 8 bullets per primary attack, but that's only 4 health per shot. It's still something, at least, I guess. This is just horrible. Like, I would rather have any other green than this. Actually, left in Daisy, I'd, I'd rather have less, but... Um... Razor Wire? It's, it's okay, but... You don't really want to get hit. Old Guillotine. Not that many... When you're on so fast, you don't have that many, um... Elites anyways. Left and Daisy. This just saved me maybe one time. These... They're just weird. And I'd rather have anything else. If I wasn't playing Captain... Like, let's say I'm playing... Artie or... Rex. Deathmark. Great. But... We're not playing that. Um, infusion, not damage. Bandolier, I guess you can kind of consider damage, but not damage. Not damage. Rose Buckle. Um, this, this, this is helpful in Mythrix a little bit, but on Captain, you most if you're gonna have a good run, like if you're gonna have a good run, Mythrix isn't up ever. Um, whatever this is called, I don't remember. It's okay. Doesn't do much. And this, it, it's decent AoE. Actually, I'll move it up. I'll move it up. It's not as good as Gas, though. Okay, let's move on to the Legendaries. For the F tier. I'll explain these after. Bands? I proc it with Diablo Strike. That's how I proc bands. And they're a lifesaver for Mythrix. Not good. Ever. This thing, like, doesn't do anything. That's good, just not now. Not now. That's okay. I don't care about that. That's controversial. It does it one shot. It doesn't, it's annoying. Even if you hit him with two at the same time, it won't kill. For some reason. You have to have crowbar. If you have a, if you have at least a crowbar at one shots. But these make it much more consistent. Um, that can go up there. Bad. 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 Everyone knows Aegis is bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. These are all horrible. This one, uh, uh, they'll stay there for now. Okay, legendaries. We got Happy Mask in Everprox. Can't use it in Mythrix. Kind of. Like, barely you can use it. We're in Eclipse 8 with speedrunning Gauntlet. So, this doesn't do anything. You heal nothing, so it never procs and doesn't do any damage. Doesn't help you with Mythrix. Doesn't help you with Mythrix unless you get like, you get Resonant Disc, this, and FM, uh, forgive me please, and then you're chilling. Dio's, Dio sounds nice because it'll make up for a mistake, but like, if I just got this, if I got ba uh, well, Brilliant Behemoth, I probably wouldn't have died in the first place. So. Um... I don't really have any... Captain doesn't really make use of uh, skill cooldown reduction at all. Um, becoming elite doesn't do anything during Mythrix. This doesn't do anything, like, ever. <laughs> Unless I want to spam Diablos after I kill an elite. It's a little helpful, but doesn't do much. Aegis never does anything, no matter what. Resident Disc, only good if you have FMP. 
Um, and this, not good in Mythrix. That's a scent. A lot of what it is, is, is it good in Mythrix? Okay, now we're moving on to boss items. Um, that can stay. That can stay. You never get to use that. Or actually, I shouldn't be speaking yet. That's gonna be controversial. I'll talk about it. <laughs> Do anything. Oh, you know, I forgot to put these in here. Those will almost never be useful. I mean, I'm gonna put these in here too. Oh, this is horrible. Okay. For my bad yellow items, we have... I don't remember the name of this item because I never get it in speedruns because I'm not wasting time to get it. Um, if you don't know the gauntlet category for speedrunning or just like risk of resources and stuff, you will basically never get these ever you you have to get a looter pod and a cleansing pool on the same stage because you're not allowed to use lunar items unless you beat the stage you pick it up and then you cleanse it that's the only time it's ever useful so and you're not going to be spending the time to do this ever so it's just not useful. Molten Perforator. I love this item in normal runs. It's really nice. In Mythrix, and even Phase 2 in Ad Phase, it does absolutely nothing. It's just like, it doesn't hit Mythrix as he moves too fast. And the Flying Dudes, it doesn't hit him. And those are the ones, the Lunar Wisps are the only things that ever kill me in Phase 2 of Mythrix. So, yeah. This, you don't want to be low ever. <laughs> it's just how it is. Um, the egg thing from grandfather parent. I don't. It's okay. It's just like, whatever. Um, this is like the worst item in the game almost. I wouldn't say that, but it's just, it's not good. And then, you're not spending the time to scrap. Ever, really. Okay. On to equipment. Oh, we missed some greens and some reds. My apologies. That's horrible. That's horrible. This is horrible. Okay, greens. This does nothing. They do something sometimes. This is not good either. I miss so many. I'm so sorry. I miss so uh, I miss so many of these. This is organized weird. Okay, on to equipments. There's only three equip- four equipments you really ever want. Maybe five. Every single other one is useless. You don't want any. And we'll get to the other ones later. Actually, six. I'll say six. There's six decent ones. Let's get rid of all these, because you're never going to get these. Oh, especially this. That thing's, that thing's horrible. <laughs> okay. This will be explained later. <laughs> There's still going to be a lot in the F tier. There's a lot of items you do not want. Void items. A lot of these items I like a lot, but in a speedrun, not very useful. That, not useful. This, actually, it's helped me a little bit. This, I never like it in the first place. It's, this is just not good. Like, it's good, but... 
is just counteracted by Slug. Void Band. <laughs> it's Void Band. Um, let's talk about it. Actually, let me put all these in first. One of the ones that I want to put in here first. So, Sacred Spaces. Like, it's nice, but it's not... It doesn't really help you. Like, it just blocks one hit every 15 seconds, or 13 if you have two, so on and so forth. This, just getting crit is so much better in, like, every way, basically. We need to do Mythrix damage. So, or uh, Mythrix phase 2 damage, especially, so not very useful. This, it just doesn't heal enough. Void Band. It's self-explanatory. This is helpful, but it's not great. This doesn't do anything. I say it's worse than Chrono Bobble most of the time. I've never had this item before. It's just... But it's not going to do anything, really. <laughs> and then... Especially, you don't want to get rid of some of your yellow items are pretty good. And then... Like, this helps with getting some of the gooder... The, the gooder... The better void items, but it's still not great. Let's move on to... The D tier. Jeez. It's so far up, I can't get to it. <laughs> D tier, gasoline, it, it can help you survive the teleporter stages, just one of them is really all you need. These can be used for plasma shrimp, which is nice. These help you a lot in teleporters. Um, this can help you live a little bit better early on. Like, it's a good damage item on melee characters, but it's just, it's not useful on Captain very much. Like. You get close and does some damage, but most of the time you don't want to be that close. And bleed, it, it's just not active enough unless you somehow get 10, but you're never going to get 10 in a speeder. So, you know. Greens. Okay, greens. Um, let's see, this helps, similar to gasoline, if you have one of the gasoline or one of that, it just helps you a lot with ads, or mini dudes. I used to play, I play Destiny a lot, I have, so I call everything an ad if it's like a small little enemy. This, it just helps, it helps get around, get to teleporter faster. Um, Tom, the only time Tom is very useful is if you get one to drop while you're doing the teleporter, and then you pick it up right before you enter the next stage, so you save the money. Pressure Instincts, yeah, it's 5% crit, but... Actually, we'll bump it up to see why not. Hova Feather. Actually, we'll bump up a Feather to see. Reds. We'll say... Dish. Dish. You always get this, so I'll just throw in there anyways. Okay, reds. The three reds that are in here. We got through most of everything in the F tier, but... Basically, this helps a lot during ad phases, but... Or ad phases. Oh my. Teleporter events. Teleporter events. Captain always has this. It's nice. It helps. That's it, really. I'll just get rid of projectiles. Um, we'll throw this guy in here. Okay. These three. Titanic Neural is just like a slightly weaker cautious slug. So it's going there. 
you rarely have the crit to make use of this, but when you do, if you get some crit, it actually can be pretty nice. And then this guy's good early, but just doesn't do much later. He's just helpful early on, as if you saw my run earlier. Okay. Equipments. We got Volcanic Egg, Credit Card, and Triform something. <laughs> so, Volcanic Egg, it, it's good movement, especially because Cap doesn't have any movement, but it's, it's like all directional, but it's only for five seconds, and you can't really, s you can't skip Mythrix. You can't skip Mythrix without it. So, and well, with it, unless you have three fuel cells. Then you have credit card. On Captain, the only reason I say credit card is not F tier for speedrun is because Captain can get so many items with credit card. With hacking beacons, it's insane. If you if you place them correctly and you time things correctly, like they can get you a lot of items, so it helps definitely a lot. In Tricorn, it can be decent if you need to get some of the better um, boss items. Um, are we on avoid items? Oh wait, I forgot a common item. That guy. It, it saves your watches. <laughs> um. Void items. We got needle tick. It, it does some on captain. It actually does some pretty good damage. So that's why I put it there. And then these, it gives you an extra hacking beacon if you can't get a fuel cell or if you get this early on. Extra hacking beacon can always be a little nice. To the C C tier. C tier, green, blues, I mean, commons. <laughs> we got hoof. Like, it's nice. And normally, it's really nice because you move faster while shooting and stuff. But when you're speed running, you just want to have as much speed as possible. So, it's a good speed item, but it's not the greatest. Actually, where's this guy at? I don't know why. This guy can also go there. Some speed, some attack speed, but attack speeds are nice. This little bit of damage for proc coefficient, proc chain's going to be nice, but that's about it. Greens. No, we'll just. Oh crap! Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd you go, Lely? Go? Oh, there he is. Okay. So. As can be seen, I don't know why I'm talking like that. Predatory Instincts, it's up here, it gives you 5% crit, you shoot faster when you crit, and then on Captain, you always, if you crit, you get all full shacks of Predatory Instincts, so you shoot real fast. Oh, Feather, can save you some from, some, from some fall damage and add some vertical mobility, so we're talking fast. Vertical mobility, because having some vertical mobility is nice on a character with no mobility whatsoever. Ukulele. It's good for some AoE, but the main purpose is getting some extra poly loots. Ukulele can be nice. Whatever this is called, I can request form. Um, if you get this stage one or two, you might find it once or twice. Some two extra items, which is always nice. And then this can be useful sometimes. I'll put it in D-tier, actually. It's useful, like, once in forever. Occasionally, you get to make use of it. Um, to the reds. No, not that.
Actually, yeah. Fine, I'm going to chest this open here. I love chest this. But it's just not as useful as it can be it is in other situations. Afterburner, it's just useful because you get three Diablo Strikes. And so, Mythrix, you can do a little more easy, easily. Um, Shustus gets rid of Sigsy Armor, can be okay, but not useful Mythrix, really, but useful on every other boss in Phase 2, essentially. Um, let's go into this. My only boss I, I would say, C tier. Em empathy cores. I like them a lot. Especially if you can... I had one run where I got these. I still failed because I didn't jump into a portal though. <laughs> I got spare drone bars and I didn't jump into a portal at the end of the Matrix fight and I ran out of time. I just had no movement, but it does some good damage. So, yeah. Um, Void items. We'll throw this up here. The void item for of the 30 something leaf clover 27. I don't remember what it is. It's something leaf clover. That's a big number. And I put this seat here just because if you get it at the beginning of your run, you can have a nice fun run. You can get lucky. You can get a brilliant behemoth and a um, headset. Like, you never know. Um, it can be pretty nice. Um, that's about, that's, I think it for D tier. Yeah. Um, B tier. I think the only com, com actually, okay, we're gonna put those two, those three actually. So, key. Sometimes you can get a legendary in the next stage or the next couple stages if you get lucky. This 20% damage, it can help in Mythrix, especially during that ad phase. It, it can help 20% damage, 20% damage. And then crit. Crit glasses. Doesn't really help in Diablo Strike unless you get lucky, but it, crit can help a lot with a lot of other functionality like Shatter Spleen. Um, yeah. It can help with a decent amount of stuff. Greens. We're gonna put these three up. What in the world did I just do? Always lose them. Okay. These three greens, shurikens, they help early on. Don't do anything late game at all. Or, well, Mythrix fight at all. These, if you get one of these, and we'll talk about it later, one of these and one of these, you can, if you have two wings, if you have two charges of wings, you can make, you can skip to the Mythrix um, arena. And then this, it's just a nice speed item. It can help dodge some attacks. It's, it's a nice item. Legendaries. We're gonna put ICBM in here. I like ICBM, but without if you don't get a missile item, it doesn't do anything. So if you I get it, I got it first item one run, I was like sweet, and then I didn't get a single missile item. So it was like that didn't do anything. Um we're gonna put Myron Urn in here. And this guy in here. So B. Why these? Why? That seems weird. My turn. It is such a good healing item. Like, it helps so much when you're overwhelmed with enemies. Because it heals so much and it does a decent amount of damage too. So, it's just like. I really like it. And then, whatever this is called, only drops from the Grove Keeper on one stage. And it's the third stage. Grove Tender, not Grove Keeper. Um, it just adds a decent amount of consistent damage. It's really nice. Um, not the best thing ever, though. And, what items next? Yeah. Actually, okay, sorry. 
Chrysalisk. So, Chrysalisk, or whatever this is called, I'm calling it Chrysalisk. It could be something completely different. Like I said, like, it's basically the second best to base, just because it doesn't go as far, but you have direction, so you you can make some usage out of it. Um, especially if you have at least a fuel cell, you can skip to the Mythrix Arena. Um, that's it for that one. Yeah. Um, let's move on to A. My only for A, my only gray A item would be broken stopwatch. It's really nice. I just lose them all the time. They break all the time. So it's just I guess frustrating. You lose all your da a lot of your damage. But if you can keep them, it can actually really help because it helps you in every point in the game. Greens. We'll throw this. This item is really good, especially if you have some extra crit, because just having one of these, that 1 in 20 chance of hitting a crit, well, one it's like a 6% chance technically, on Captain, you hit that one time, and you heal a lot, a, de a pretty good chunk of health. If you have some extra crit on there, it's a lot of health, and that's like all the healing you ever need. And, um, so, it's really nice, actually. Legendaries. I'll throw this in the A tier. It's useful if you get some crit it benefits. If you get Bali loot, it benefits. If you get ATGs, it benefits. But if you don't have any chance items, which can happen sometimes, it just it doesn't do anything. And then we got equipment. We got recycler. Oh wait, oops. We're gonna throw a charge perforator in here first. Charge Perforator. I haven't got it a single time, but I know it's a good item from other experience, so... And it, it, it'll it actually do damage to moving enemies and flying enemies and stuff, so... Um, it can actually be helpful. And Recycler, you can use Recycler on all these all these F tier items and all these D tier items to try to get a A or S tier or even B tier sometimes if you really need it. So... Yeah. I would say anytime you see a legendary that you don't need though, you always use recycler. Um Well actually let's throw let's throw this uh, uh Scorpion up there too. It's good on a lot of characters, but because you kill Mythrix in one shot if you have a decent damage item, you don't make very much use out of it. Um, but in every other stage of the game, it really does increase your damage. Um, we'll throw this in here. This can help you get polyloots and shrimps. By a lot, so. That's, a, it's a pretty good reason why you want it, and that supports the key being B tier, because if you got keys, you got these. If you get this and you have keys, you get more of these. Um, and that's that for that tier. So the A tier. We're just gonna throw everything up here. Oh, wrong thing. Actually, sorry. We're gonna pop Warhorn in a tier because it, it, it does help a lot if you have if you got a crowdfunder for some reason if you don't even know where's crowdfunder i never tried that but like uh if you got like a wood spirit thing this guy then half of your you've half up time of half up time of this so it's pretty nice um but yeah
So the S tier. What we got here? So these three items, crowbar is almost all you need to one shot Mythrix. Or a grandfather or a lot of bosses. If you get one crowbar, you basically will one shot Mythrix with a Diablo strike. A slug is like the best passive healing you can get on Eclipse. If you're not getting hit, which hopefully you're not, you'll just be constantly healing a pretty decent amount all the time. And then energy drink, 25% speed, great just when you're sprinting. You want to go fast, so yeah. ATGs, these can do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. I would not rank them higher than shrimp, but I don't feel like I can S plus tier. Um, yeah. Bands, amazing with Diablo Strike. You will one shot literally anything without a doubt. I would play this um, Kajaro band, definitely goes above Renault's band in, in um, ranking if I did rank it that way, just because you can skip phase four with this. Um, and then also it helps a lot when you have stupid, um, what are they called? Imp overlords, and they just dodge your Diablo strike, but then your Diablo strike hits a little guy, causes this to proc, and then this kills the imp overlord. Really nice. Really behemoth, 60% increase in damage, just flat, with some AoE attached to it. Very good. Headstompers, amazing. You get a skip. You get a pillar skip if you know how to do it. Um, watch uh, Cap's video if you want to learn how to do all, all those skips. Watch Cap's video. Um, uh, Tesla Coil, it does a lot of damage. It helps you all the time. It just, it's really helpful. Um, you got spare drone parts. Every time you get spare drone parts, I never find drones. But if you find drones, it does a lot. Especially because you can pick up drones for free. If you get a TC-280 too, or if you get these especially, you just, you win. It's, yeah. The item that will get you a world record is eccentric base. If you don't get eccentric base, you're probably not in your world record. There are things you can do. You can use this. You can get lucky in other points. You can just be fast and a little bit lucky. But if you want consistent and really fast runs on Captain, eccentric base is the best equipment, the best item you can get. Probably on it any survivor speedrunning on the gauntlet category. And then Polyloot Shrimp. I would, I would play Shrimp over Polyloot, but Shrimp is a 40% flat, 40% uh, increase in damage. Um, if, you have if you have shields up, which is why I put this in D tier, not F tier, because it'll increase your shields. So, if you have your shields up, 40% increased damage per one of these and so it can do a lot a lot um and then polyloot polyloot is just it's also insane 25 percent chance to proc a 60 percent total damage three times and then that's plus three per polyloot you have so if you have two polyloots that's 60 percent total damage six times on the same target so, just absolutely nukes, lunar wisps, everything. Just amazing. But, if you're wondering, if you're if you're going to start speedrunning Captain, or at all, in the gauntlet category, the best items to look for in general, I would say, are ATGs, energy drinks, you only need one or two of these, but they're always helpful. Both bands are really nice on basically everyone. If you get one of these legendaries, you're set. 
especially these three in per these three in particular are amazing this one's good for just in general play i guess if you wanted to get world records you just reset until you get this essentially all you do it's not it's not the funnest thing but when you finally get the center face it's it's a great run and then if you can get any of these you're set but you want to look for those items and you always have recycler to recycle items into getting any of these um but yeah if you want to take a screenshot for some reason I need to take a screenshot for that video. I can't even fit the whole thing. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> there we go. If you want to look at the whole thing, take a picture, you can. Um, but this is my Captain Gauntlet speedrunning tier list. Thank you, YouTube, for watching if you do. And thank you, Twitch, because I'm ending the stream soon. But thanks for watching. If you, Especially if you joined when Ruddy raided. Thank you, Ruddy. Um, and thank you for the people who chatted or just watched and enjoyed. I enjoyed having company. Um, yeah. Thank you.